My beautiful name that my father gave me is Kisero Junior Kennedy Otien. I'm the Secretary General of Kenya Methodist University. And uh, I have a few things to put across, Your Excellency. First, uh, when I entered this hall, I like checking where I am. I saw from whatever is written here, hashtag fear has fallen. Your Excellency, the fear has not fallen, that's why we are here. So, and uh, uh, first thing first, uh, Mr. President, I've been privileged to be under your administration in two capacities. Uh, one, I, I enjoyed your administration when you were an MP in Eldoret North. Yeah, we used to learn apo kama good apo chini karibu na kwenu. Yes. And uh, secondly, I've also experienced your leadership now that you are the president. Mr. President, I can assure you they are totally different. Uh, from when you were MP, people used to go to the street to celebrate your achievements. Nowadays, we just go to the streets to demonstrate. And uh, Mr. President, uh, don't get me wrong in the first place. Uh, the reason is why I know when you are the president, it comes with a lot of responsibility and people to, to advise. And uh, I will start off by saying those who advised in this new funding model, uh, I will not be wrong to say there is a problem. And that's why they, we are here. We have to go back to the drawing board. We have to start off afresh. And uh, my question is, Mr. President, the first question is, what was so wrong with the old funding model that we could not sit down and amend it? Because uh, even a constitution of a, kind, uh, of a country, you just don't wake up one day and bring a new constitution. We always go and say, we go to the parliament, they amend it, and they take, to, they take it to the president to ascend and sign it. So I feel we should go back to the old funding model and uh, amend it. Because, Mr. President, we don't, like, we don't lack stakeholders, we don't lack resources. These people sitting here, what wanafanya law, nursing, medicine, there are brains here which can sit down in those panels and say, where did we go wrong? First, I want to acknowledge that the new funding model has got good ideas, very brilliant ideas, but the implementation is very wrong and uh, it's not pleasing based on the fact that there are also challenges from the help. You know, when comrades sit in the same room with the help guys, it's a miracle. But we are very happy to sit down with them and, uh, and discuss in your presence. Uh, Mr. President, I want to also talk about, I come from KEM, which is a private university. And uh, my question there is in, uh, you have spoken, I've understood what you have said in regards to scholarship and the loans. Uh, comrades, I have my president here, Masai Chabet. Uh, you know, comrades come to you and tell you, Kisero, we have been placed in this band. And uh, people are really suffering, Mr. President. And uh, my question is, why then do coops have to place them in private university if they can't be sustained the same way as those in public university? And uh, in that regard, Mr. President, I acknowledge that you have said the, the government Kidogoto. This is my chance with the Mr. President. Uh, we are not, uh, uh, the, you have acknowledged that the government uh, said uh, it has debt, and my university is uh, one that is in the same category. Gov Tunadai, the government, they have been so lenient enough to allow students to learn with the limited resources they have. Tunaomba uh, tuata Kidogo in the university and like Fanya Kazi. Uh, because uh, we need to learn, those who are, we are there uh, in Kem. Then, um, Mr. President, one, uh, uh, recently you were awarded uh, uh, a beautiful de degree at uh, Baraton University, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Honorary. Honorary. Yes. Uh, 
degree at Baraton University. And uh, there was one picture that really took my attention. I know most of you saw the picture. There was a little girl called Naomi who was in the midst of graduate and he was there admiring uh, all the graduates, the beautiful gown. Then I asked myself, why does this new funding model want to kill the dream of that young girl of one day graduating? Uh, I want uh, to say this, Mr. President. As the commander, I first started by saying I acknowledge your president as the your presence as the fifth president and the commander in chief of uh, our defense forces. And one of your roles in that regard is to act. Please act, Mr. President. We beg you. Please act. Then, uh, lastly, Namalizia uh, Kabisa. Lastly, Mr. President. Uh, we don't have to go to the street when we can resolve this thing here today. Yes. Because it's, it, we also don't like going to the streets when we can solve things at the table. We are ready to be part of the discussion. We are ready to listen. We are ready to work and ensure that we change this. But the bottom line remains, let's go to the old funding model. Amend it to what you wanted to achieve with the new funding model. Thank you so much. God bless you.